Hello Virgo, it's Milady, and this is Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly. I think that that was an orb. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewind that. That shocked me. I said if they do it again, I'm I'm gonna take a break. So I'm gonna take a break after this one. That one looked pretty big too. I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, so these are the cards. <laughs> uh, I gotta look back because it could have been smoked too. All right, so I'm even nervous. I mean, sometimes they be scaring me, y'all. All right, so Fairy Lenormand Oracle cards by Marcus Cassentelli, good one. And I'm closing off with my with the Slavic Legend Tarot by Tarot Eka Studios. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and setting up personal readings and hitting that notification bell. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Virgo? What's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, a lot of people ain't listening. Um, look like you might be telling somebody, somebody might be telling you something, somebody's being hard-headed, okay? Hard-headed, somebody being hard-headed. We got a, fa a lot of family stuff going on here. I think all of uh, the earth signs, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, all of them had this. Uh, but I do feel like it's something going on in the family tree. Um, I do feel like some kind of changes and transitions going on in the family. Uh, but I do feel like somebody needs to make a choice about these changes and transitions. All right. Let's keep up moving. Okay. What's going on with the Virgo? All right. Oh, we got the Ace of Pentacles here. So I do feel like somebody may be getting ready to get a lot of money. I do feel like some happiness is coming. So uh possibly just a better quality of life is on the way but i do feel like happiness is coming but some changes is going on in the family maybe somebody increasing that family tree finally all right so i do feel like somebody is feeling their feminine power okay um i do feel like some kind of new start new beginning i do feel like this could be somebody just knowing what they want and how they want it cut it out old man out of the blue they just be tripping out okay definitely mental clarity going on so now they want to fight lovely all right so ooh, so got the ace i mean the marriage marriage engagement weddings uh new beginnings um that ace of wands there or ace of clubs also represent pregnancies but new starts and new beginnings new fertile ground new foundations on the way okay new structure definitely babies and happiness all over the place here okay um babies could be a thing that you're doing too it does not have to be an actual child it could be something that you care about like child or maybe your 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 puppy cat lizard is pregnant okay but definitely something new is coming new beginnings wishes coming true yep which is coming through new beginnings moving forward wow this is lovely somebody about to get married or, or or start something new whatever this is i feel like it's awesome you give me chills all right so i do feel like somebody's building some new structure um i do feel like uh things have broken down in the past and i do feel like somebody rebuilt them on a stronger foundation okay i do feel like everything is peaceful and calm with that six of clubs there and then the one and nine makes me feel like a new beginning and then the nines to me represent today i'm feeling this today um tra changes transitions wishes coming true okay something that i work real hard for is here okay so here, oh, beautiful. So we got this six of hearts here. So six of hearts to me represent, if it didn't happen, it's getting ready to, if this reading is for you. But I'm also feeling like emotional balance, okay? And relationship balance. I do feel like I'm getting as much as I need, which is more than what the person I'm getting 
dealing with need and both of us are getting what we need emotionally and then we got the one and the six one is that new start new beginning and that six is that fertile ground that fertile foundation that we working on okay and this car all together it represents stars and hopes and dreams coming true so you got the uh commitment engagement agreement card you have the star card and you got the sun card dang it i don't think i got virgo in my chart <laughs> I, i'm part virgo okay i know a virgo my best friend a virgo uh, but I do feel like definitely a lot of beautiful new beginnings coming for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we got two jumpers. We got two jumpers. I'm going to cut these cards and see what the last one is. Girl. Girl. The little dog that I have is growling at the biggest dog that I have. The, the littlest dog is about the size of the biggest dog head. That's it. The little dog can fit in her mouth and she up there growling at her like she can do something. Okay, back to the reading. Excuse me. All right, so we got the Eight of Swords here. So I do feel like somebody was in some kind of mental trap. I do feel like somebody broke out, breaking out of that. Okay. All right, here we have the King of Wands here. So I do feel like somebody is trying to be fair. Somebody is trying to be structured. Um, but somebody like their freedom, okay? So I do feel like if you're dealing with somebody new, just make sure you let them do what they feel like they need to do. Because when they feel like they're being held down or stopped or controlled or composed or anything, they're going to leave. Or, or they're going to start doing stuff they don't have no business doing. This person does like freedom, so just let them have it, okay? If you let them have it, you're going to get this star card. So a star card is Aquarius energy, but this is like definitely hopes and dreams and all that good stuff coming true, okay? But I'm going to pull another card. I usually don't pull in the, uh, more cards for these. I just let them lay where they lay. But this is the moon card. So this could be saying that you're dealing with a uh, 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 Pisces. So this could be saying that you're dealing with a Pisces, but this also could say that there's some kind of secret coming out. Oh, I heard marriage. Okay, so I do feel like the secret is that offer they're getting ready to have. They've been thinking about this for a long time, but I'm still going to pull a card for it anyway because I said I was trying to be true to my word. I mean, only way I want is if I'm in the hospital, okay? I'll try to be. If you ain't got your word, you ain't got nothing, I believe, okay? So with the moon card, we have three of swords oh all right so this makes me feel like this is a slippery slope we own here i do feel like there's a lot of care and a lot of love here but i feel like both people have been through some very traumatic and hurtful things and i feel like we haven't talked about this yet okay so that's why i feel like don't don't push it okay let this person just talk but i feel like that's why this person likes to be free and don't like to be held down anywhere um but i feel like the other person has been hurt as well and it's just like i feel like i want to grab that okay um but this 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 situation you just got to back up and just let it happen just live by that if it's meant everything in the dark will come to light. if you live by that i do feel like everything will be okay but if you just go digging for stuff this person gonna disappear in the into the night okay but this is a good person but they just like to be free they they don't want to deal with somebody that's gonna be chasing them around everywhere asking them a uh, question every two seconds okay but it's at the end of the day it's completely up to you but that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs thanks for watching